Are you disappointed? Are you feeling let down? Are you feeling used? Are you feeling unsatisfied? Are you feeling you need someone to satisfy your desires? You have tried left, right and center. You have tried men, different men in your life. And there's no one who is satisfying you. They are leaving you disappointed. They are leaving you angry. They are leaving you, you know, complaining. I just want to introduce you to a man. A man who will never leave you. A man who will never leave you disappointed. And this is man number seven. Number seven is divine. And this comes from the book of John 4, 7 where the Samaritan woman went to draw water and met this man. And the man asked her, give me water to drink. And the woman was surprised. The woman asked him, how come you are asking me for water? I know you are a Jew and I am a Samaritan. And Jews and Samaritan do not interact. So this woman was, was, was confused. But this man um, talked to this woman, humbled himself, went down to the level of this woman to interact with her. And from this, he crossed the cultural barrier. So the man I'm talking about is man number seven, and his name is Jesus. Jesus will never disappoint you. Jesus will never leave you confused. Jesus will give you eternal water. Water which is going to satisfy your thirst. Water which is going to satisfy your desires. You shall never hunger more. You shall never thirst more. If you receive Jesus Christ. The story of woman is a divine story. Because when after talking and kind of the woman who was now convinced that Jesus is not just any other man, and she was convinced that Jesus was a prophet, Jesus asked the woman, go bring your husband. And the woman said, sir, I don't have a husband. And Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, told her, you have spoken the truth. Are you speaking the truth concerning your life? How many men have been in your life? Do you want an encounter with a man? Do you want an encounter with a special man? Man number seven. I am introducing to you man number seven. I have been there. I have been disappointed. I have been let down. I have been felt misused. But I decided to let go and have an encounter with man number seven. May you have an encounter with man number seven and your life will never be the same again. If it was in today's world, suppose such a woman who had six husbands approached someone full of the Holy Spirit and full of the Spirit of God, would that man condemn the woman or would that man change the woman's perception of life so i just want to pose a challenge to people and men who are preaching jesus christ and ask you this question if i was that woman how would you treat me would you condemn me would you judge me or would you bring yourself down to the level of me so that you can understand where you, ca you are coming from where i am coming from so that you can change my perception and change my life. So this story is a wonderful story because the woman said she had, Jesus told the woman that you are right because you have had five husbands and even the one you have now is not your husband. Meaning the woman had six husbands who were not her husband. You know, maybe they were mipango ya kando, you know, 
but Jesus did not judge her. So Jesus was number seven, and you can see after she had an, an encounter with man number seven, her life, her perception was changed. And she went and she talked to the people in her town to come and see a man who have told her everything. My dear, I know we have come from a place. And for you to be where you are, you have seen many things. But my question is, do you want to have an encounter with Jesus Christ? Because if you do, your life will be changed. Your life will never be the same. You will go out and you will talk to people. You will talk to your clan. You will talk even to, you know, the people who have had a different perception about you and tell them you have encountered man number seven. I leave you with man number seven because he will never disappoint you. He will give you living water. You will never thirst again. You will never hunger again. Your desires will be fulfilled and you will be complete. God bless you. Bye-bye. See you again.